My friends released a Mario Kart Wii Remastered mod which ups the resolution of the textures used in the game. Combine that with a Dolphin emulator and you can play this in up to 8K which is crazy and it looks beautiful when we play it. Look at these crisp graphics and this is only 1080p that I've done for YouTube and I'm going to show you how to set this up, where you get the emulator, how you connect the game and how you install Jackson's mod who is my friend. So you can see I'll just give you a touch of gameplay before we do this but you can see all of the textures on our models and all of the text in here look really really nice we just got 50cc check them out they all look awesome right next to my ugly mug here uh, we'll go with Yoshi in this example here super cute character you can see the carts look super crisp with this uh, emulator and the special textures that have been created by my friend so we'll go with the uh, manual one here the mushroom cart I'll just show you a quick start from here and then show you how to set it up. If you want to see more gameplay, a little gameplay adventure, go check it out. It looks beautiful. So nice crisp graphics. Uh, we've got super sharp things. There's no pixelation going on here, even though we're at a higher resolution than when the Wii was made many years ago. And if we have a little look up close at our characters, we zoom in, look, Yoshi looks so cute. Uh, so pretty awesome and fairly easy to set up as well. So I'm going to show you that in just a sec. But check it out. How cool is this that we can play Mario Kart we get rage inducing smashing and bashing and do our own super duper stuff like this as we zoom around the track right you want to know how to do this let's go so what you can do is get hold of the Dolphin emulator which is a free download and you can get that from dolphin-emu.org so download that and then you can install that on your PC and it works for Windows Mac and Linux operating platforms the next thing you're going to need to do to get Wii games playing on your PC is get hold of a copy of the game that you want to play. Now on the Dolphin website, if you go to guides, there's an area called ripping games and this tells you how to do it. And what you should be doing is getting hold of a disc of the game that you want to play. If you already own that disc, perfect. You can just rip it using the instructions here. And as long as you own the disc, you have a licensed copy of the game. So you are not breaking any license rules there. So you rip the disc, put it on your PC, and then you can play it on that platform. Why might you want to do that? A couple of reasons. The Wii games were set to play at a much lower resolution. It was back when TV was at power resolution, which was much lower than what we have today with the likes of 1080p HD, but also 4K and now even 8K. And using the Dolphin emulator, you can play those original Wii games at the much higher resolution. Pretty cool, huh? There is a bit of a catch, though, in that the games were designed to play at that low resolution. So whilst you can emulate them and up the models to the higher resolution output, you may find textures still look a bit blurry. So think about the painted uh, sort of paintwork that is the face of a character or you know any of the things that you're seeing on here so all these different things here you may need updated textures to have a better experience so if we look at for example this picture here of super mario galaxy you may find that the characters look a bit blurry even though the model outline and detail is nice and crisp with the emulator you may want these enhanced. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, with mods. And one such mod is by my friend who told me about this and has made a mod for Mario Kart. So we're going to talk about that. Jackson is his name. I'll put a link to his description. Uh, and uh, he basically created a remastered mod version for a Mario Kart. And the reason why he did that was that was the first game he seriously played as a kid. And he loves to go back to it and relive a bit of nostalgia from his childhood days. And I fully applaud that. The other cool thing is lots of the mods out there are free and Jackson's mod is one such mod that is totally free as well. So I'll have a link to that, but we'll talk about that. So you download this, get a hold of your game, rip that on, and then you will be at the next step that I'll show here. So here you can see Mario Kart Wii is installed on Dolphin and I can just play the game straight up here. Uh, and there's a couple of things though you want to do before you start that. The first thing is the controller itself. Uh, check that you've got a controller plugged in. I've got an Xbox uh, Series X controller plugged into my PC and you can do that with a USB-C lead. Make sure it is a lead that carries data rather than just charge because some of the charging cables won't connect to the PC. They need a little bit of extra functionality in the cable. So make sure it is a decent USB-C to USB cable. So once you've done that, you should be able to plug that in and it should detect it here automatically. So if you've not got such a controller, there are other options here that you can pick. So that's one of the things you can do. 
Now, the other thing is I said you could increase the output resolution. You can do that under graphics. And if you have a little look here, we've got the internal resolution so uh, we can change that to anything. We can either go auto, so the original native resolution was 640 by 528, but we can go to 720p, 1080p, all the way up to 8K resolution, which is a whopping 7680 by 6336 pixels. Now, the higher you go, the more processing power will be required. So it's going to put a bigger strain on your PC graphics card and also the RAM. You want at least 16 gigs of RAM if you're going to go all the way up here. Uh, but, you know, have a little play with it. Start with the smaller ones. And if it looks smooth, you can probably up the power there. So because this is a 1080p video for YouTube, it's no point me going up here. We're not going to see that detail and it's just going to slow my machine down so we could go at 1080p or four times here so like i say the higher resolution you're interested in the more you're going to notice blurry textures and stuff like that so one such option is to uh, basically get mods for each game out there so mario kart wii like i say my friend jackson made mk wii uh, ultra as a mod and it basically gives a bunch of enhanced textures it also makes use of some other mods out there and i'll put those in the description as well but let's talk about how you would then use that as well so in my youtube description you'll see a link to download jackson's mod and this process would be the same for any game out there where you know sometimes the mods will go in different locations but in jackson's case in the dolphin root area you've got the user menu here and when you go into there you've got load and then in here you've got textures and RMC is Jackson's mod and you dump this in that location. What you then have is if you have a little look in here at things like the characters, what this mod is doing is basically giving enhanced textures for all of the uh, textures that are loaded on things. So if we look at, for example, Baby Luigi, this is the core map for Baby Luigi and you can see it's a nice high resolution texture so Jackson's mod is basically doing that throughout the game and giving these enhanced textures to make sure when you're playing at high resolution the models are not going to look all blurry they're going to look much crisper so this works really really well which we're going to see in game in a minute. Not quite done though you need to make sure you're loading these textures before you start the game for it to work. Now, if you're going to play a standard Wii game, you don't want to mess around with anything in particular. You can just select it here now and choose play. But in Jackson's case with the mod, I need to do a couple of settings here to make sure I'm taking advantage of those textures that he made for the game. So to do that, we go to graphics and I can change the internal resolution, which is going to make the game look that bit crisper for the models and the gameplay. But for the textures, we need to do something as well. But you pick the internal resolution here. So you can see it's currently set to 1440p, but I could go all the way up to 8K. For this particular video, it's only 1080p, so I don't need to go any higher than that. But I've just got it set to four times. That's fine. But on advanced, you want to make sure you've got load custom textures on to take advantage of Jackson's mod if you are installing that. The other thing that we've got here under Mario Kart Wii is if you right click on that and choose properties, then you want to look at gecko codes. And there's one thing you want to make sure is ticked, which is no sun filter. And that gets rid of kind of the sun bleaching out the colors in the game. So that's quite a nice thing to check and recommended by Jackson as well. So we'll have that on and then we choose play. If you've done things right, what you should see is up above, it'll say loading custom textures. So as long as that is there, you should then see super crisp textures in the game. So remember, the textures are the things that are on the 3D models themselves. So like the face on Mario, for example, or the clothing, that's taken advantage of the enhanced textures that Jackson has created. And there you go. You can see we've got a beautiful enhanced graphics. I don't know if you saw there that things just improved there. Uh, so that's taken advantage of those custom textures. So there you go. That's the Mario Kart mod. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you're having a play with it. Totally free, like I say. And do let Jackson know what you think in the comments. That'd be awesome. You can also check out his channel, which also features a lot of K-pop videos. He's a big K-pop fan, and uh, I'm sure we'd love to hear from you on his channel. So maybe you'll find a link for his channel in the description too. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, do hit that subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see.